Have you ever seen a Vlogaday 736 that looked as beautiful as this right here? Draped in freedom. It's Sunday and I have, I feel good. I slept very well and taking a day to just kind of put myself back together was well worth it. I need to do that more often. The one thing though is that this morning I woke up and we're just like, hey, let's just kind of do a thing or two and I'm doing some work and now, yeah, back on like the where's the food and coffee stage. Yesterday when I went to the store, I got food for dinner but didn't even think to get food for the morning because I was basically just like, just get me food and get me home, and then and that, that was it. So, I'm gonna go grab some coffee, and then let's go see some more Copenhagen, because we haven't seen nearly enough of the city. Figured we'd just wander around, explore some, and uh, there are a couple things that I thought we'd go see for sure, and then otherwise, we'll just see what we stumble on. My goal is to find like a nice pour over coffee this morning, I'm trying what GQ rated as one of the top five coffee shops in the world, at least the UK version of the magazine. I'm hoping that they have it. <clears throat> Didn't see a menu online, so we're going purely based on reputation of being hipstery at this point. And otherwise, I'm sure that they'll sell, hopefully they'll sell like a filtered coffee, but can't do like as much milk in my coffee anymore. Like having cappuccinos, flat whites, whatever, every time, just can't do it anymore. Been broken. Been broken for the cafe. <laughs> That was delicious. Good to get a little coffee in me, a little sugar, a little bread. I'm gonna go to the Church of Our Savior, which has a great view of the city, supposedly. Go up there, see if I can't get some shots, and then I was thinking about going back to Refn and trying something else out there. But I'll keep looking around, we'll see what we do for lunch. I don't know, just gonna wander, explore, keep taking it easy-ish, but uh, definitely gonna get my steps in today, so, so let's go. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get lunch first and technically I don't have any money on my card so I shouldn't do this anyways. There's another famous food market right next to the metro station. I got sold about like multiple times. Sometimes we'll do that because it's gonna take forever to go up the church and out to Refn and I'll be hungry long before I get food. So I'm gonna proactively get food for once. Let's see how that goes. I really don't know what to do. So many options. Very tempting just to go for tacos, I'm not gonna lie. That's, uh, I'm a creature of very simple tastes. Very habit, a very something. Anyways. Went for the banh mi. I haven't had banh mi in a while. Sounds delicious. delicious. This is really good. Good to get. I don't even like cantaloupe that much, but this is a tasty combination. I'm going to try walking to the church from here. My legs are tired though. I like feel the fatigue catching up to me. So give it a walk. Say like a 25 minute walk. That's not that bad. And uh, go up to the top and then we'll just kind of figure it out from there. Nice to just kind of chill, walk around Copenhagen. This town is great. If you're thinking about coming, visiting, highly recommend it. I definitely, definitely want to come back. I 
will say that the sheer volume of photogenic spires in this city, it's awesome. I wish I had a real lens to shoot some of these down like down long streets with a church spire or a clock tower or something down at the end. They're a very beautiful city. It's nice. I'm gonna go to the Church of Our Savior, which has like, I guess, a 400 stairs up to the top so you can see the rest of the city. It sounds like there are a number of places where you can get a vantage point high up above the city, but that's the one that keeps getting recommended. So that's the one I'm walking to right now. And then I'm probably gonna try and find a spot to sit and get some work done for a little bit. And then we'll see what we end up exploring in the afternoon or evening, I guess, because technically we're in the afternoon now. So a long ways away. It's a good thing I had that smoothie, otherwise I'd don't know that I'd make it. I'm trying to think about why it is that I uh, tend to starve myself, but a lot of it comes down to like times in my life where I really haven't had much, as well as just trying to push myself. Like, okay, how long can I make it? How far can I go? Sometimes you just can't eat. Sometimes you don't have the time to, or you don't have the resources, whatever. So like, I've always in the past pushed myself, you know, just to not eat for longer, to keep working, to work through whatever pain I was experiencing. And now it's gotten me to the point where I just kind of ignore all the signs and end up not eating or not taking care of myself until I really, really should be. And it's an interesting leftover from all of that, I guess. Having a higher tolerance actually ends up betraying you in a way. I don't know if that's ironic or not, but. One of the things I learned about Copenhagen, uh, this this building, for example, has a dragon spire, like their dragon's tail is going up, kind of goofy looking dragons, but any of the buildings that have dragons on them, it's supposed to be a protection against fire because they probably burned down multiple times along the way. And so apparently putting a dragon on it rather than lighting the place on fire, which is what I would expect, you put a dragon on a building and just ignite, protects it from fire. So there's a little bit of a trivia for you. So if you can't get a shot of these Pluto dog looking dragons for you. Molly's the one that told me that, the tour guide on the boat tour. She had lots of good, lots of good pointers about the city. And then it turns out one of these towers, so one of the bridge towers right here is a little coffee shop and it has, they have like AeroPress, French press, hot chocolate, filtered coffee. I wanna have a coffee here, but I don't know if it's gonna be, I, I'll send you to find a spot to work later. Maybe you can come here tomorrow before I leave town. Pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna, I need to mark this on a map somewhere. It's a pop-up, so it's actually only, it might not be open tomorrow. I think we, let's check this out. Let's ask them if they're open tomorrow. The restaurant part is the pop-up part. Otherwise, this coffee shop is here all the time. It's closed Mondays and Tuesdays, and I'm not gonna be here Wednesday. So let's go see the tower, and uh, if that burns enough energy, maybe we'll come back and grab a coffee here on the way back. It's kind of too cool to pass up. Alrighty, we're gonna definitely get our, our floors in on this one, if not steps. Got up some like five floors, and now we're getting to the base of the actual tower. Basically, just plopped on top of this church here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was crowded getting up, but getting back down is going to be even harder by the looks of things. <sighs> Still going up. I don't think this ever stops. So this is definitely a view worth taking in though. You can see the dragon church that we walked by earlier, the dragon steeple over there and came from way up there. Stairs just end in the pillar that's here. The end, that's the end of it right here, yeah. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> all right, well, now I gotta go back down all those stairs. you in case you decide to do this someday. It does get pretty crowded up there. It's almost like they didn't build it with the intention of tourists showing up or something. Anyways, really cool. Narrow, windy, high, you can see a lot. That was cool. All right, let's find a place to work for a bit. I think I get some work done here. A 
great spot to grab a beer. They had two options, a sour and an IPA. Figured it was a little bit late for a coffee, so went for that. It'll be closed tomorrow, so no coffee here at all, but super cool. Really good spot just to sit. Got my notebooks out, thought a lot, tried to write some things down. And now, after giving myself a little bit of a brainer size, time to walk home. Oh, shoot, I was thinking about taking the Metro. Now, time to go back to the Airbnb and uh, cook up the rest of my chicken, and then uh, we'll see what happens from there. I'm not even sure what's gonna, I probably should try to edit my vlog. It's at least a little bit now, so I'm not up super late again. Chicken. I had, I had the chicken, it was good. I worked for a while, just to kind of follow up on that theme from the day, but ate before I, I started getting really cranky. I was just a little bit cranky, so that's good. I've just been watching, I started, I haven't finished it, I haven't had time, I watched it while I was eating, but I just started watching the documentary on Robin Williams that came out on HBO, and it is so good, and I also, I'm almost finished with the Robert Kennedy series on Netflix, and it just makes me think of how lucky we are to have decent people in the world that give of themselves, that have given us so much, and how sad it is to have them go, especially before their times. And uh, yeah, not to end things on a down note, but it's kind of what I'm thinking about now. And it makes me want to make sure that whatever I do with my life, I that it gives in the same kind of way. In whatever way that is, I don't know. Obviously, we're all trying to figure ourselves out. I'm definitely trying to figure myself out. But uh, yeah, I just hope that when the time comes, when it's all said and done, that the life that I lead is one that's worth making a documentary about. And I hopefully, hopefully I die of like either very old, gentle age or something spectacular involving, you know, hang gliders or parachutes or flaming tigers or something along those lines. I'm gonna end it here today. I had a good day exploring. Tomorrow's our last day in Copenhagen. And so for those of you that are tired of me not being in Paris, don't worry, I'll be back in Paris here shortly. Always excited to go back to Paris. I love that city. And I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning for coffee, some exploring. And my plan was to talk a little bit about how I pack for a trip like this. Like I've, I only packed one backpack to come on this trip and probably a mini Airbnb tour as well because those feel like good things to share. And I'll see you tomorrow.